Howdy folks, Max Caveman here bringing you back to Not For Trade, a series where I open up various TCG products, trying to build the most expensive folder that I can as if I was a kid building up their first collection. Now, as you can see here today, we have two Elite Trainer Boxes um, for Temporal Forces. And the main reason I'm opening up both of these is this is going to be the last episode for Not For Trade, season one at, le uh, at least. Um, I may bring the series back in the future, um, but I am ending the series with these brand new products that have just come out. So let's get cracking. Um, now, like I always do, in the previous episode, I did get a few cards added to the collection. Uh, mainly just the um, promos and some of the shinies, like the um, like the um, Pidgeot EX. Um, so there are a few. The uh, difficult thing with Party and Fates is that it's shiny or bust, basically. So yeah, not too much that I could have gotten. Um, so. Now, I'm not doing a proper ETB opening, so this is my opening. Um, Temporal Forces is a great set, giving us access to a lot of the um, Paradox Pokemon. Um, which, there's the main one right here that we might be looking for. Um, and obviously, we do get the Ancient Pokemon as well. Um, we do have Ace Specs back. Um, back in the game, so a lot of people are after those specifically, um, most notably the Prime um, Catcher, so that is something to consider for what we're looking for, and then we've got just all the promos and stuff, um, which I do actually have all the promos now after these boxes, so that's good. Um, but let's see we get in here. I will try and do this bit of a pack battle style. So let's get everything out of the boxes that we need. Uh, that's the uh, sleeves for the future box. And then there. The dice seem to be slightly different colour what they were, then we've got the lovely green D6. Oh, and we do get the Iron Thorns illustration for the uh, future box there. I was very surprised when I did see the fact that um, those were the promos. I would have preferred Maybe, um, like, if the box itself was what, um, the Pokemon that was in the promos. Got some lovely dividers in here. Yeah. And the lovely sleeves with the Fluttermain promo. So, ultimately I have been opening quite a bit of this at this point uh, due to the, all the pre-releases that I've been to so I am have got a lot of what I needed so that's good um, okay so let's see here um, actually let's get these sleeved up first Now, hopefully, what I can do is have this series go out with a massive bang, um, getting a massive addition to the folder. Um, basically, a lot of the values have stagnated, so that's just one of the issues here. Okay. 
So I think the main thing I'm looking for are going to be illustrations, A specs, and anything above an EX. So let's start with the Iron Leaves box here. Okay, let's make sure my bin's actually open. Okay, so starting off with first pack of this opening, we have a Ponyta, Chatopt, Cotney, Carvana, Delcaddy, Explorer's Guns. That's actually a very good card. I'll put that aside. Got a Iron Hands, Roly Coley, Rapska, and a Coridon. That's actually useful as well. So that goes aside. Um, a lot of different strategies are available in this set. So. It is good seeing um, the Ancient and the Future Pokemon specifically, but let's see what else is worth it. Um, got a Frostmoth, Noctowl, Croconaw, Lickit Licky, got an Explorer's Guns, another one, got a Colossal, Perilous Jungle, Ekans, Frostmoth, and a Whimsicott. Okay, so we've got another Ekans here. Turtwig, Puchiana, Wiglet, Morty's Conviction, very nice supporter. I've got a Shift Tree, Bianca's Devotion, Meditite, Rose Raid, and a Fluttermane. Okay, so we have a Matang, Karkol, Grottle, Finlison, got an Airy, very nice card, I've got an Unpheasant, Center Scorch, a Zoomeril, Morwow, and an Iron Valiant. Okay, so we've opened up four packs so far. Hopefully, we do at least get something big, and I do see purple. Okay, so the purple borders are for the A spec. So, why do we have an A spec in this card pack here? Best option, Prime Catcher. I actually want Awakening Drums, I think, or the Neo Upper Energy, which are some of the lower cost ones, but um, they're what I need for my personal collection. And we have a Meltan, C Dot, Totodile, Dealing, Iron Jugulus. Lycanroc, got a Salvatore, okay here we go, we got the Neo Upper Energy, very nice, can we get a second hit, we got a Keldeo, and a Coridon, that's actually a very useful card, so that's good to see. And we are one step closer to getting all of the aspects that I, um, so I, uh, well, one of each a spec just so if I ever need one I have it so that is good oh actually I do need the maximum belt that's the big one I'm missing now yeah. um, okay so moving on we have a bronze ore got a Mariana Devotion Haunter Buddy Buddy Poffin that's actually a very useful card I'll put that aside just to be safe. Got an Iron Treads, Boxed Order, I've got a Noctowl, Bramblegast, and a Macargo. Okay, so we've got a Pidov, Panko, Mowile, Meditite, Palafin, got a Screamtail, Iron Valiant, Poochiana, Salvatore. And we do get an EX. We got the lovely looking Gengar EX. Um, it is a bit disappointing that there is no illustration Gengar. Um, we do get Ghastly with some Haunters on it, so that's good. And then um, there is the Morty card in there too, so it's a bit of a shame that the Gengar misses out. It is what it is. We have a Pikachu, Ghastly, Elgium, Sizzlipede, Rabombi, 
Future Booster Energy Capsule, got an Iron Hands, got a Golet, Minchino, and we got a Ultra Rare Bianca's Devotion. Okay, that's good. Um, <coughs> so that's definitely a great pickup there. So, move on to the final pack for the um, Iron Leaves box with the Iron Leaves pack. So, let's see what we get. Starting off with, we got a Terminator, Hoot Hoot, got a Beldum, Heatmore, Sandy Shocks, Reuniclus, Mist Energy, got an Iron Thorns, Hand Trimmer, and a Roaring Moon. Okay, so was three hits with the plus the promo for that box. Um, who knows which other cards have more value? I feel like um, if you're going value wise, you do want the reverse hollows mostly. So that is something to think of. Um, okay. So we have nine more packs to go. This time from the Walking Wake ATV. Hopefully we can get an ace spec and something good in here as well. Uh, but let's see. What a Noctowl. Croconaw. Licky Licky. What a Matang. Lycanroc. Salvatore. Palafin. Ekins. Rabska. And a Torterra EX. Very good. This deck does 30 for each. Okay. Um, uh, this set does include a Relicanth, which is a very useful card. Um, so I think the Torterra is one of those cards that you do want to be using Relicanth with. I'm not too sure, actually. Um, but I feel like the Torterra is a little lacking. But it is a good Dark Side counter, so that is something to think about. Uh, anyway, we've got an Arbok, C Dot. We've got a Totodile, Dealing, Sinchino, Morty's Conviction, Shift Tree, a Reverse Morty's Conviction, Frostmoth, and a Fluttermane. I think that's something, I'm not too sure. Okay, so we've got a Carcoal, Grottle, got a Finizen, Bronzong, got a Screamtail, Heavy Baton, very useful card, so that, that could be worth something. We have an Iron Valiant, Rose Raid, we got a fantastic looking Metagross illustration. With a Coridon in the back. I will put that aside like I did before. But this is a fantastic um, illustration. Uh, definitely one of the ones that I like the most. Actually had to double check if I had it. Um, but I don't, so that's good to see. Okay, so we have a Pidov, Panko, Mowile, Meditite, Bianca's Devotion, We've got a Reuniclus, Explorer's Guidance, Noctowl, Mowile. We got another Gengar EX, this time the Ultra Rare Gengar. So that is fantastic. Sadly, this is the highest rarity Gengar you can get, so that's actually good to see. So we've got all the artworks now for it. Okay, so we've got a Mariana, Dewosion, Haunter, Pikachu, Sandy Shocks, Reuniclus, Mist Energy, Raichu, Keldeo, and a Macargo. Okay, so 
So we have a Cotney, Carvana, Ekins, Turtwig, Sharpedo, Zero Aura, Metagross, got a Great Tusk, Croconore, and a Bramblegast. Okay, so we have a Puchiana, Wigglets, Arbok, C Dot, Excadrill, Rose Raid, Keldeo, a Delcaddy, C Dot, and a Whimsicott. So two packs remaining now. Okay, so we have a Lickitung, Charger Bug, a Slugma, Solosis, Salvatore, Bronzong, Excadrill. We've got a Maridon. That's actually a very good pickup because it is the reverse hollow, so that's good. We've got a Golurk and a Maridon EX. So definitely a like semi decent card. Um, I do feel like this Maridon is better than this one. Um, but I guess time will tell which one ultimately becomes the best one. So, final pack here from the double ETB opening. Can I get something? I do have a A spec in this pack. Okay. Whew. This, is, this could be big. We have Mencino, Rockruff, Litten, Shroomish, Cyphermaniacs, Cobraking, very nice card. Uh, we've got a Vikavolt, Great Tusk. Okay, here we go, A spec. We got the maximum belt. Okay, that is that is very good. I was just about to buy this personally, just so I could have it, but pulling it here is actually a very nice thing. Can we get a double hit pack now? We've got a Mudsdale and a Coridon. So ultimately, we did get an A spec in each of the boxes. That was. I wonder if that's going to be standard or if I just got very lucky with my boxes. Um, but ultimately. It does seem like the Walking Wake box was better off out of the two. Um, yeah, so oops. so just as a recap, the big hits, the most likely to make it into the folder hits, um, we have the Flood Main promo. Maximum Belt, Maridon EX, um, we got the Ultra Rare Gengar EX, we have the Metagross Illustration, Torterra EX, the Promo Iron Thorns Illustration, we got the Bianca's Devotion Ultra Rare, the Gengar EX, and then the Neo Upper Energy. Those off the top of my head are the most likely to make it into the folder. There are some other cards such as this Maridon, which I feel like could make it in. As always, I will double check all the pools just to make sure any of the lower rarity stuff makes it in or not. And then next, um, the next video for this series will be a full folder recap and just a little bit of a discussion going on at the same time. So. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and realistically this series. Um, hopefully you do come back for whatever may be next. But until then, have a good one folks.